Hi team, welcome back to uh, my balloon tutorials. I'm gonna just try to, no, I can't seem to get rid of that stuff off the screen. It's really annoying me. How do I do that? Uh, comments, no, don't know. Anyway, um, right. I'm not too sure if you would have read the title or not, but we are going to make a cat. Something like this. Um, it's kind of like a dog, but kind of different. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to go through that and we'll see the differences, we'll end up with something looks like this. So let's get started, uh, take a balloon, give it a stretch and we're going to blow it up about halfway. Um, halfway is quite hard to judge sometimes, especially if you're new to this. So one way to do it, uh, I'll pump this up and let's have a look. So that's probably something that's about halfway. You could take an uninflated balloon, fold it in half and sort of see if that matches the end. So it's like half inflated, half uninflated. Uh, otherwise I'm about maybe six, seven fingers from you know, an uninflated balloon here. So let some air out as always and tie it off. Alrighty, uh, this one's going to be quite fiddly, uh, so hopefully you can follow along alright. I'm going to turn some extra light on here. I don't know if that's helped or not, but hey, whatever. Um, Alright, we're going to start at the nose. We're going to do quite a small bubble, and we're going to do two of them. This is going to form the front of the cat's face. So I've got two small balloons, two small bubbles. Uh, like that, you can see those, and we're going to twist. We're going to take the knot. And we're going to twist it into, into the base of the second bubble that we've just twisted. So we're going to twist those in here. So we're going to take the knot and we're going to wrap that around. And now I'm going to go through over the center in between the two bubbles. Uh, that's the coffee machine turning off and that's a bad sign. That means I haven't had a coffee in at least an hour. So I'm going to have to get on that uh, maybe after I do this video. Or well, should I do it now? No, I'll do it afterwards. Um, all right, so we should have something that looks like that. Two bubbles, we've twisted them at the base here, and then we've wrapped the rest of the knot over through the middle. Gives us a nice little sort of stubby nose that's gonna be the, the nose of the cat here. Uh, nice flat face. All right, then we're gonna make two more small bubbles. Uh, so similar, similar sort of thing, we're gonna make a similar sort of size, sorry. Another small bubble. And another small bubble. So we've got the nose and we've got two small bubbles. This is gonna be the back of the cat's head. Um, two small bubbles, it just makes it a little bit easier later on. If these come undone in between these two, uh, don't stress about it, we'll fix that up later. But for now we wanna make, we're gonna do practice our sausage making skills again and we're gonna make five round bubbles. A little bit bigger than this, uh, but pretty much one inch round or so. Uh, we're going to make five of them and make sure you put a few extra twists in them because if you don't later on then things might start to come undone so i'm just going to again hold hold this with my little pinky so that doesn't undo and, oh like that that's why we put the extra twists in all right so I'll put that one back in now we're going to do five five bubbles all the same size so a little bit bigger so around that size that one there we're going to do five of those put some extra twists in there one three with some extra twists and as you can see I'm just I'm still just holding with my pinky this end one three four some extra twists and five always with some extra twists so there we have at the back of the head these two here and then five one two three four five and we're gonna lock them together we're gonna have those five bubbles we're gonna, fight, we're gonna twist in here. Don't know if that's clear or not, but that's what we're gonna do. So you've got five bubbles, and then out the back, you've just got this, still got, still got the two here. We're gonna take the nose, and we're gonna poke it through the hole, okay? Uh, so we'll take that, poke that through. Something like that. So we've got the back of the head, We've got the nose, 
And now we're going to give the cat some ears. So we'll take the ears. Uh, sorry. Okay, so we're going to we're going to take the each the hmm, how do I describe this? The second bubble, the second bubble, and the second bubble and the fourth bubble are going to be the ears. So we're going to do what's called an ear twist. Funnily enough, and all that what we're doing there is we're taking a bubble and we're going to a balloon and we're going to twist it on itself. Uh, I'm going to quickly show with another balloon what I mean, just so it's nice and clear. So, uh, an ear an ear twist or a, or a pinch twist uh, is when you take the same bubble and twist it onto itself. So we'll take this and we're going to twist that around. That gives you that shape there. Uh, commonly used for ears. Uh, pinch twists, they tend to lock onto themselves a little bit, so that's cool. Uh, you can pop one end of it. Uh, well, I could pop this and that probably won't come undone. Let's try that. Uh, or try this end. And we're gonna undo this, see what happens. All right, so that's stayed as it is. It's not tied or anything, it's just twisted around itself. So that's the principle we're going to apply to our cat. We're gonna do an ear twist here and an ear twist here. So take that, and I'm gonna, again, we're gonna pull it out so it doesn't scrape on itself. You probably will pop a lot of balloons doing this uh, when you're first learning, but hey, that's what it's all about. So that's one done. And do the same on the other side. Ear twist, or a pinch twist. And that's two. So now I've got the two ears that we've put in place. This is the top of the head where the eyes will sit and nose and, and cheeks where we'll put whiskers and that sort of thing. So that's our, our head so far. All right, I give the balloon a little bit of a squeeze so you get some of that ear going down. If it gets a little bit tight. And now we're gonna make a neck. Cats don't really have big necks, so we're just gonna do a, a small neck like this. Uh, we're going to then add some legs, just straightforward legs. Again, all, all about proportions. So we've got neck, leg, leg. These two bubbles should be the same. They're about uh, three to four fingers. I'm gonna fold that over and twist at the top of the legs. Like that. Now our body. And now some back legs. You can sort of judge how much room you've got left here. I'm gonna make my back legs slightly, ever so slightly smaller because I want a longer tail. So exactly the same as the front legs, we've got back legs. And now we're gonna give it a, uh, a more, more of a cat-like tail than this thing. So we're gonna take what, the remaining balloon and we're gonna make that into an S-bend. Sort of uh, like, like this. You can sort of see that, change that into an S-bend or a Z or N or whichever way you're looking at it. And then if we squeeze that, squeeze it and massage it in place, Get that a bit of a squeeze. It should stay um, pretty much how we want it. So we've got the cat's tail there. Uh, yeah, that's that's our cat basically done so far. So we're just going to add um, some features to it, make it more cat-like. Take a take your vivid, take your sharpie, give it some eyes, and a wee triangle nose. And some whiskers. That's our wee cat face. Um, now, we're actually gonna do another video, well, the same video, we're actually gonna give you a bonus. We're gonna make a tiger as well as a cat in the same tutorial. So keep following, and we'll, we'll make a, another balloon, it's gonna be a tiger. Alrighty. Here's our tiger. Some of you may have clicked on that I've been cheating a little bit, and this is the same balloon that I just made. Believe it or not. What we're we gonna do, keep the vivid. My vivid's not working. Draw some, draw some stripes. Some wee stripes on all over it. Body, legs. And there we have now made a tiger.
Oh, Taylor needs some stripes. Here we go, tiger. So here we go, we've learned how to make a cat and a tiger in the same balloon. Uh, obviously, tigers are cats. Uh, you could also do the same for a lion. You might just wanna change the colors or you can just change the cheeks a little bit, add some, add some whatever you call it, stuff around the heads. I don't know what you call it, their mane, I guess. Something like that. Um, I'm sure some school kids will probably tell me. Uh, but there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed that. Let us know how you're getting on. Um, I'd love to see some pictures of what people are managing to make. Um, so yeah, thanks, and uh, catch you next time.